right, no time for talking. Really? But thank you for all the comments you guys have been giving me. Like dropping little things here and there in the video. And people get a free pack of strings or whatever. I'll set that up with sweet water because I don't want to have to pay for anything. Once I get that set up, I'm going to do that. Like I'll, if I mention your name, but you got to listen. It could be like during a song or I might, you know. But if you see your name, you get a pack of strings or picks or something or, or a CD. If you want a CD of my band, I'll burn you a copy because the flipping label didn't give me any more. I'm asking them for more. I'm going to try to get 10 or so out of them. And if I do, I'll give nine away and I'll keep one because I don't even have one anymore. I had to give them all away. So... Thank you for your comments. I can't believe I didn't get sacrificed over those two Randy videos. The Suicide Solution. I don't know what the hell was happening with the amp, but I flicked the toggle and then both of them came on. But it's got something to do with the effects. And then, uh, over the mountain. Oh, that was just wrong. I shouldn't have even tried because if you know what you're doing and you're playing it, but you have to actually play it a whole step down or it's a half step and you're a whole step so you gotta I thought I could do it I couldn't and the proof is in the video so I'm not gonna I was gonna play over the mountain with this not over the mountain flying high again since he used this one on flying high again this is everything the strap the exact strap down to the even the, the you know strap locks which he used I got away from strap locks but uh, there you go so thank you uh, this is a crazy guitar this is one that I bought and uh, just to have so I could complete the Rhodes collection after I, you know, had got that number 11 Shannon, Mike Shannon 2010 piece of crap. So, I bought this. This is good enough. It doesn't have the smaller fins or markers. It's not like the old Jackson, but it's good enough. He would have loved this. If he would have got this, he would have been, oh my gosh, look at this thing. Compared to his, because his actually didn't play that well. I've played his Black Jackson. His mom let me after he'd passed away. Years. And when he was alive, he let me play his Flying V, which I didn't like the neck, but the sound was unbelievable. That's why I picked those pickups. I said, what pickups you got? Super Distortion and PAF. Idiot Boy put in two PAFs. But he had a Super Distortion put in there. Or distort, yeah, it's super distortion. The Marzio and the PAF in the neck. So that's why I have it in my star, and that's why I have it in most guitars that sound good, like that Telecaster, Metalcaster, super distortion, PAF. This one is whatever he had. But I just figured out, because I don't play it, this is this, up is that. Why? It came to me like this. See, this is. Jackson always is a little off, but I still like them. When you get them set up, they're nothing better, right? Right. <laughs>
bit of uh, the new Eternal Darkness because the other one is going to cut all. Is it going to be called what I call it? Creeping sensation, sensation. <laughs> Eternal darkness. Sounds a little more darkness and eternal. Right? Right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm done. Short and sweet. And sweet to eat. Alright. The thing needs to be set up. Okay, that's it. All right, thank you. Comment, subscribe, like, hit the little bell. I think I have a bell there. That way you're, you'll know every time a video comes up. I didn't even, I haven't been telling you people. So you got to be notified every time I put a video up so you can see the video if I'm doing a good job or not. You know who my favorite guy to watch now is? That Stevie T dude. All I got to do, like Turnberry, I think his name is. Stevie Turnberry. He, I thought he was like, and just funny. The dude is amazing. He's a great guitar player. And he's stupid, and he's geek, but he's he's funny as crap. And he really knows what he's talking about, and he's an amazing guitar player. He's just a dorky looking dude. Kind of like, uh, what what's his name looks like? The other great guy that used to be in Mr. Big. He's a friggin' nerd from hell. But look at the way he plays. I'm actually a nerd from hell, but I don't want to give off that image, man. I'm cool. I'm Michael D., rock legend. Michael D., that's me. Late metal.